So I'm on my way to the Po River. I'm gonna meet up with some Ivorian fishermen and head out on the sea tonight to show you guys a little bit about how fishing is done off the coast of Liberia. I'm excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous because, well, we're gonna sleep on the ocean. I just hope I'm not throwing up over the side of the boat all night long because it's rainy season, so you never know what the weather's gonna look like, what the waves are gonna look like. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Hi, I'm Steve Butwell, and this is Bush Life where we meet real people and real communities and see how they problem solve and use creative solutions to both enjoy life and get stuff done. Yeah, my name is Steven Mesa from Abricos, Abmiganiya, I can fishing. My father be brother to me. I'm fishing for family. The family, the boat is for family. Yeah. The people inside uh, are working with me. After the money can, I can pay the people. And that means I'll be captain inside. Yeah. In the evening, once we reach the area Stephen wants to fish, the starter buoy goes in, followed by over a mile of net. One side of the net has floater attached, while the other side has metal weights to keep the net vertical in the water. The process takes hours and continues long after the sun goes down. Once all the nets are in the water, it's time for dinner, followed by songs, devotion, and then sleeping anywhere you can find space on the deck. Apparently I'm not much of a fisherman because 
I just blew chunks and yeah, don't feel so hot. So yeah, <laughs> it's a rough day at sea. The fish caught will either be sold straight off the boat to locals and surrounding villages or salt cured into what they call moi moi. West Africans love their moi moi for its potent fish flavor.